Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the Apollon. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is April 21st, 2021, Wednesday, and the title of today's devotional is Pray Continually. Scripture is from Romans chapter 8, 26 to 28. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray, we as we ought. But they very, that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit. Because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. Amen. Another scripture is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Today's story is from Karen, who lives in India. I was going through a difficult situation. The thought of recent events made me so scared that I could barely sleep. Every morning, I woke up feeling weak and fearful just thinking of my problem. For a while, I pretended that everything was all right, but that hurt me even more. I was this desperate for a shoulder to lean on so I could cry out my fears and seek guidance. That's when I realized that I could pray to God. So each day, I knelt down to pray. Each time, I would immediately start crying because the situation was too overwhelming for me to speak of. I did this for many days, and I started to feel better. Eventually, I was able to tell God what had happened and how I felt. Through my pain didn't completely go away, I realized that the fear didn't rule over me anymore. Today, I realize that every problem I have encountered had made me trust, has made me trust and rely on God more. By praying continually, I found relief from my fears. No matter how bad life gets, we can always pray to God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. People usually get to God when they have some situations, especially negative situations or bad situations. People find God when they have hard time. If life goes well, they does not want to, I mean, they usually not go find God in their lives but whenever something happens so they need when they need some help they need it they they found try to find God and God allows that I mean God wants us to come to God every time or all the time, actually. However, 
It when you find God when you are in trouble. Still, God accepts you and listen to you. So please, come to God. Come to Jesus. And pour out your heart, your feeling, and emotion before God. God will listen to you. God will give you peace. And God will give you comfort. Please remember, God welcomes you every time, so just come to God. We can reach out to God just as our whole being, as just what, as what I mean, as I am, as we are. So we, you can just talk to God. And we call that our conversation with God. We can call the conversation with God prayer, a prayer. I hope we pray to God all the time whenever we are happy or sad, whenever we have joy or sorrow, whenever we have good situation or bad situation, I hope we can go to God, especially when you cannot find any hope, any peace. Please come to God, because God can give you the consolation, peace, love, justice, and grace. God is merciful God. God is gracious God. We know that God accepts everyone whenever, whoever come to God and whenever we go to God. So please, please. Like Karen did, we need to go to God. Not just one time, Every time, every moment, every day, so that let you be in the presence of God, feeling God's presence fully in your heart. That would be wonderful. That will be your strength. That will be your peace. Every morning I come to God. I kneel down and I pray to God. I usually pray for my congregation, my family, and my self. But sometimes I just kneel down in the sanctuary and just take a moment in silence. Sometimes I pour out my emotions and feelings to God. Sometimes I just say what situation I have, what I want, kinds of that. Just Just like telling others, the best friend, about my recent events, I just go to God and say whatever I have. That moment is blessing for me because I can feel God's presence. I feel God's comfort, comfort, 
confession, compassion, grace, and love. It gives me peace. The moment gives me peace. God gives me peace in my heart. I hope you have that. This peace in your heart also. Let us pray. Dear God, help us remember to pray and to trust you, no matter how bad life gets for us. Gracious God, we have issues. We have many life issues. So we sometimes cannot find any hope or peace or comfort, comfort any place. You just told us, you just taught us through Karen's story and the Bible, you are a good listener. You are the one who can give us peace and let us get out of fears or sorrow. Lord, please lead us to come to you and let us pour out our hearts, our feelings before you. Lord, we need you every day. We need you all the time. Please let us be with you. Thank you for your grace and love. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget, please talk to God. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.